In this video, we'll look at whether copper 2 phosphate, that's Cu3PO42, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the entire compound, that's a covalent compound. But within this compound, we have this phosphate ion. And the bonds between the phosphorus and the oxygens in the phosphate ion, those will be covalent. So on the periodic table, here's copper, that's a metal. And then phosphorus and oxygen, those are nonmetals. So we have a metal and nonmetals, that's going to be an ionic compound. So with an ionic compound, we really need to think about the charge on the ions. So we have our copper here, and just looking at copper on the periodic table, it doesn't tell us the charge. We can look at what it's bonded to, though. So the phosphate ion here, PO4, we have two phosphate ions. And the whole phosphate ion here, each one has a charge of 3 minus. This is a good one to remember. So we have two three minuses, that should give us six minus. That means copper has to be two plus. Three times two plus, that gives us six plus, and that will cancel out, give us a net charge of zero. Because we have these positive ions, three of these Cu2 plus ions, copper two ions, and two of these negative ions, the phosphate ions, positive and negative is going to attract because they're opposite charges, and that'll give us the ionic bond. Let's talk about the phosphate ion here just for a second, though. So we said phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. And then oxygen, we said that's also a nonmetal. So when nonmetals bond, we get covalent bonds. It's also called molecular bonds. So the phosphate here, the bonds between the phosphorus and the oxygen atoms, those bonds will be covalent. But overall, the bond between the positive copper two ions and the negative phosphate ions, that will be an ionic bond. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.